What do you define as consciousness? The first aspect of consciousness is where are we thinking from? Mm -hmm. Are we thinking from a higher place, a higher mind, or are we thinking from a lower place with emotions and anger and uh, violence? So when we talk about higher consciousness, we are also talking about thoughts mm -hmm. that are aligned to greater good. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get mm -hmm. that. So at December tw 31st. 21st. 21st. Oh, the Up Mayan New Year. Oh, that whole cycle. Yes. I see. That began this movement towards the Declaration. Yes. That's when it we announced it to the world in London mm -hmm. at the debut of the Three Magic Words and uh, the movie. Mm -hmm. And when we announced it, we realized that that time consciousness has won a long, long, long war. Uh. Finally, at last. So now we've attained the critical mass. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for that mass of consciousness to be the birthright of every human being. So let's go through. What does it mean to declare content? What are the principles? Yes. The first principle is the principle, the life message of Mahatma Gandhi, which is Ahimsa. There's no room for violence. Anywhere. Anywhere. No and no justification for it. No even emotional violence. Absolutely. Okay. The second is, you know, women have been mistreated for too long. It's time for a civilized, um, for civilization to say, hey, wait a minute, women are equal. If not, more equal than a man. A mother, for instance, holds a great responsibility. Mm -hmm. And any society where women are treated with honor, equal, equality and dignity, almost in a moment, essence in consciousness. But India, it's a big problem. India, more, more than here. This is a problem everywhere. Throughout it's a the little world. better here. There's a lot of, it's, I mean, it, of course it could be better, but it's... Um, it's, it, it's there, but every, everywhere, every place, every individual is consciousness and works. So what do we do to make this happen? Well, let's go through the principles yes. and you tell me yes. what we can do. The, the third is children need to be protected, need to be nurtured, need to be looked after. Mother Earth needs to be tended. We have to come together to address global warming. We have to come together to green planet Earth. Mm. We have to wake up to understand this is our planet Earth. Mm. Mm. Okay, but, yeah, I mean, but these are things a lot of people are saying, mm -hmm. and you've packaged them all into a, a, a declaration, which I think yes. is great. Mm -hmm. So, okay, just what else is in there? And then I want to know what then, we... Then it's like, are we taking care of our elders? Uh, yeah. Likewise, you know, this as consciousness is going to be forever expanding. Even what I'm saying today, 100 years later, is going to be a little bit further stretched. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the way we look into it is the basic tenets of consciousness could be what we mostly take for granted in a civilized country. Mm, okay. Like? Like violence. Oh. Like... Uh, right. Women's equality. Right, right. We, we have to know we're in one world now, yes. one whole planet that is interconnected. Interconnected and most important, when we are interconnected, the outcome of it in the form of enterprise, in the form of entertainment, in the form of media. Mm -hmm. So Declaration of Consciousness is about collecting a billion signatures. Oh, right. That's the other piece. Yes, yes. And how we intend to make that happen is, see, in 1948, there was a Declaration of Human Rights. Okay. We needed to be embedded with states of consciousness, like mm -hmm. Ahimsa, certain mm -hmm. principles mm -hmm. of consciousness. Mm -hmm. There are so many countries which would willingly and happily adopt the Declaration of Consciousness because they would be doing good to its uh, citizens. Uh huh. So we want a billion signatures, yes. like online. Is there an online website? Online, yes. What would the online website? Oh, um, is this a, it's signdc dot org. Signdc. S i g n d c dot o r g. Yes. And why that website? What what what, what sign? Just sign. Because we want a billion people. We to. want to begin the process with everyone signing the declaration. But the next step is that what we are building is. 
where anyone can come in and not only sign but say these are the conscious companies these are the conscious mm. books magazines me uh, ma- movies so documentaries a whole list of uh, conscious um uh social um input that supports the declaration exactly. right ah, i see and when a million of us or more do it mm. now we have the database uh-huh. to actually certify companies that are conscious uh-huh. uh create conscious entertainment what does conscious entertainment look like for instance you watch a good movie mm-hmm. like gandhi for instance it is going to affect your reality and the way you think mm-hmm. yes and if today you really want a conscious movie the only real good conscious movies are the disney movies that you know for sure you get it mm-hmm. but if we had a portal well that yeah. could give documentaries and movies you know like up, uh, and it's the power of people coming into play Well, I put on a new realities film festival for conscious movies, spiritually movies, spiritual based movies. So and that's the truth and that's the easiest way to convey consciousness to deliver consciousness. So, how many points are there in the declaration? Currently, there are 10 points in okay. the declaration of consciousness. Yes. But the way I look into consciousness is consciousness is forever expanding. So the even the verbiage in consciousness is for going to forever expand. Nothing can be fixed. For instance, what Christ mentioned in those days, mm-hmm. we could say wow today, but in those days it was not that acceptable. Right. And right, tomorrow right. there's going to be another greater Christ who comes in the form of each one of us mm-hmm. defining consciousness in our own ways. So consciousness the evolving declaration mm-hmm. is for an evolving world. Yes. Because consciousness of course is evolving. Mm-hmm. It's not static. So we need something that also moves with consciousness. So you need a billion signatures. Mm-hmm. How many do we have right now? <laughs> we have we are in the process of growing it we are you could say at the stage of sprouting where each one of us coming into the movement are you are co-creating this movement our numbers are not big i would be no no it's beginning it's it, beginning the long it, journey starts with the first step it, it's about 6000 No, no, that's a start. That's a start. And, no. Uh, we just got the movement started, but we understand that when we conscious beings come together, we are many as one. So when we sign, we get 1 billion. Mhm. It will be more about the shift that will happen. It is more not only about the shift that will happen, but it will get leaders of countries to begin to understanding the needs of each individual citizen. Mhm. They're not doing that now. They don't care in a sense about the citizens. Uh, no, you've got to look at it from a different okay, perspective. Okay, tell the me. The perspective is when uh, Prophet Muhammad for instance was fighting to capture Mecca. Uh at that point in time the battle looked a bit futile. And it, and Prophet Muhammad was a conscious being in his days. He was the most conscious being amongst all. And so co- where consciousness is leadership is natural leadership is mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so when he finally mentioned to everyone hey all that i'm talking about that uh, talking about is it not the truth that is already embedded in your heart mm. and all, the moment everyone understood that they allowed him to lead they allowed him to conquer now that's consciousness consciousness leads consciousness paves way mm. 